done an equine shoot on a yard and uh, we used lots of different locations but one of the locations we didn't use was the, was the stable and it was just because the flow of the shoot it was going well and I wanted to get out into the field so we actually didn't use the stable block um, so what we're going to do is is get another horse and go back and I'll, I'll demonstrate what I would usually do if I use the stable but just to pick up on a couple of points from the barn section that I did um, I generally would only use the entrance of a barn um, the light coming into um, the doorway is really beautiful providing there's not direct sunlight and it can be very flattering on the horse and the owner and if the background is far enough away they tend to be dark walls and um, that will just fall off into nice um, darkness behind the horse and owner so I, I would tend to shoot there now the reason I don't come in barns very often is because if you look around and this is pretty much the case on with most equine barns is that there are a lot of things head collars hay nets tack it, they they tend to be quite cluttered um and i'm only looking for a small area um, that, that I can photograph a horse and owner on. But to be honest, there is so much stuff in here that it's just not worth the time and effort to kind of clear it all out so that you get a nice clean background. So I would tend to just shoot in the doorway, use the nice light, and then move on to a stable if I wanted to go inside. Okay, so I've just um, decided which stable is best on the whole yard for us to shoot in. Um, my decision was made by the light. Um, tend to like the sun to be behind um, so that we've not got any bright sunlight going on um, the owner and the horse. And we've just, um, Maria very kindly is just slightly tidying up around the stable for us so that it's as clear as possible. Um, if you see there's a, a name plate on the door, if it wasn't the horse's uh, actual stable, then we could always take that out in post. Generally speaking, the horse's normal stable is fine, but with this one, it was actually in the barn location and, and that was no good for light. So um, I wouldn't photograph in that one so we've just picked this one so um, I'm just going to do a variety of different poses here so Faye yeah. come and rest your arms on yeah lovely and he looks perfect he looks perfect right nice and just look towards him beautiful so I'm just doing quite a tight crop here, just look at, um, just literally the stable door opening. It's going pretty black in the background. Gorgeous, Faye. And just put your arm up on his neck. Gorgeous, look at him. Nice, perfect. Okay, so will he, if we open the door, will he want to come out? Yeah, but I can stop him. Yeah? Yeah. That's all right? Okay. Okay, so if you just lean against the side here, that's nice, yeah. Yeah, leg would be good. Just relax the hands. So I'm going to go for a slightly longer shot now to include uh, the horse's legs and feet. That's it, just relax those arms, Faye. Brrr, Maria, can you go that over there? That'd be great. Nice, there we go, gorgeous. That's beautiful. Good, and look at him. And just see if he'll come, encourage him to come closer to your tummy. Brrr, just get him to come down slightly. There we go, nice. There. Maria, can you just scuttle in the bottom here? You won't be in shot. Yeah. Nice, Faye, there. Yeah, that's nice. Gorgeous. And look at him. 
So um, the back of the stable's dark, so it's pretty much going black behind her. Um, and there's just nice light coming in and falling on the horse's face and face. And so, again, it um, gives that effect of always being shot in a studio, so we're not being distracted by any clutter or anything like that. So um, stables... Sometimes on a shoe, you have the option of a field or a stable, and actually you can get quite a lot done in a stable. So I'm going to go on and do some more different poses within this doorway so that we get a bigger variety. So Faye, can I get you to crouch for me? Nice, and just try and encourage him to come in close. There we go. <laughs> yeah, let's try not to get bitten. Brrr. Hey, monkey. So just stand up for me. So Faye's horse just got a little bit nippy and um, usually that's because we're shaking the nuts. Uh, how old is Typhoon? 15 okay so he hasn't really got a good excuse <laughs> of being young um but some some of them can get a bit like this so we just have to be a bit careful um so do you have Faye a chain can a chain go across here or not yeah uh not on this one I don't think. not on this one mm. i just want to do some stuff without his head collar on yeah um but he won't he'll walk out won't he yeah um not if I've got a treat to bargain with, he wouldn't. Really? Like you want him on his own? No, just, with, with your mum, just yeah. cuddling. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, but not. just stood there. I don't want to lose him, though, Faye. He's fine. Honestly. He is bargy, but he's going to be fine. He walked, he was, he was well, Maria, do you want to just stand yeah. close? Yeah. OK, so, real, yeah, cute and cuddly. You come in nice and close to him. Yeah, gorgeous. See if you can get him to tilt his... Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. There, just relax your hands. Gorgeous. See if he'll... T nice. Lovely. Just poke your head out. There we go. OK, just relax. OK, so we have to do that quite quickly, although I say that, and the horse is still stood there without a uh, head collar on. But you have to be really cautious. I would hate for the horse to run out and then us lose him. So... Um, but it's quite nice to, to take the head collar off because then you get to see just the horse on its own. Um, so as he's being good, we might just do a few more and I'll do a few different crops on that. Lovely there, there. Maria, just come closer maybe to him. Nice there. And actually, Faye, can you come the other side of him now? <laughs> and we'll... Nice. And are you able to crouch down? Nice. Can you try? I want him to bend the other way to walk so I can see. Yeah, there. there. Yeah. Maria, actually, if you come this side now. There. There we go. Just try and encourage him to stay down and a bit cuddly. Gorgeous there. There. <laughs> Okay, and relax. So, with you can put his head collar back on now. With stables, um, I try and do a few different poses. So we had the initial one leaning over the stable door. We then opened the door, took the head collar off, did a couple where Faye was leaning against the side of the wall, then where she was crouching. Um, so I've tried to use the stable for more than one set of shots, basically, which means we can get quite a nice variety. And so if you are limited on other locations, a stable is all, can always give you quite a few 
images and and they look quite striking for a client um, they can't see how they would have taken that shot um, because they they're not expecting that the background goes to darkness and to it look for it to look like a studio shot so it's always one of those images where you get the kind of oh wow I didn't realize it was going to look like that sort of shot so um, that rounds up what I would do in a stable so I hope that's been helpful and, and you've gathered some tips from that so thanks for watching